Well, for two reasons, really. One, one is the, in terms of human rights. When people talk about human rights, I including the right to citizenship, so that's the right to have your birth registered, and obviously if you're going to register births, you need to register deaths to mark the end of life as well. So that's, the that's purely the registration bit of it. But for, for health, it's really important to have a cause of death in medical terms also assigned to well, why people died because why somebody in a population has died tells you a lot about the health of people who haven't died, the health of the people in the population that you still need to be caring about and prioritising. So, you know, you would not want to order a whole lot of HIV treatment in, in stock if you only had one in 100,000 deaths that were due to, to HIV, for example. We live in a very unequal world and um, WHO estimates that about half of the deaths in the world are not registered with, with cause. Half of the deaths in the world means about 30 million a year, so this is not a small problem. Um, and, and actually it's not random either, so there are many countries in the world that successfully register 90 something percent of the deaths and give accurate causes. And there are other um, countries in the world that fail to register 90 something percent of their, their deaths and, and, and not give them causes. And obviously, you know, I don't think it's, it's any big secret that, it, that that's an index of general development and infrastructure and um, social development and wealth and everything else. So we're basically talking about lower income countries where uh, lack of registration is a is, is a problem so it would be mu it would be a much smaller problem globally if it were half of every uh, half of the deaths in every country that were getting registered because at least then you'd know something about every country but it's not that well research isn't going to um cover the 30 million unregistered deaths per year. So it's important to realise what research can't do and researchers are not death registrars, so that, that's not the objective. But what research can do is provide good methods and tools that countries can use to, to actually make it easier to register reliably causes of death in places where it, otherwise it's not happening. So for example, uh, computerised models for assigning cause of death um, as WHO and ourselves have been working on, a, a very important part of that toolkit.